Now, and Bill Hurlbrink is keeping a close eye on the skies today. Mm -hmm. You're tracking some severe weather, and it could be multiple rounds. Yeah, not just one round here this morning, but a couple of different rounds of severe weather for today is what can be expected. Bordner City camera, we've turned it over here to the northwest, watching up that I-29 corridor, because you can see there's from Life Power Doppler, there's these storms here that are headed towards uh, St. Joseph. There was an MCS, a mesoscale convective system, a large area of thunderstorms that developed over Nebraska overnight, started moving southeast east kind of headed towards our area here in Kansas City have been plenty of severe weather warnings up in Nebraska. And now we have a couple uh, for northwestern Missouri. There is a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for folks in Nottoway, Holt and Atchison County, Missouri. We'll put the storm track on it here and you can see as it continues to move southeast, looks like it'll hit St. Joe around 514. 536 in Atchison, and then by about 606, it'll be approaching the north side of the downtown loop. When we did just get an update from over at the National Weather Service, they have the ability to measure the cloud top temperatures, and now they look to be on a warming trend. As clouds develop and go up into the air, they cool off. So when you have super tall cumulonimbus clouds that are in the tops of these thunderstorms, they'll be really, really cold on top. Well, there's been kind of a warming trend, which can indicate these are losing a little bit of strength as they head towards the northern part of Missouri. So something we'll keep watching, but it's still the uh, severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for those folks up in the Atchison, Nottoway and Holt County. Now just north of our area, this is a fear thunderstorm watch that extends until 10 o'clock for these counties shaded in pink there. And there is a, just a little bit bigger picture of uh, all the radar and all the systems that's moving toward us right now. Hourly forecast for today, though, uh, I think the rain should be just about wrapped up here by the 10 o'clock hour, noon hour, and then we'll just have to really pay attention to the sunshine and the cloud cover to see how the atmosphere will recover this afternoon because there's some additional rounds of showers and thunderstorms slated for later this afternoon into this evening. The Storms Prediction Center does have us in the enhanced risk area now for severe weather. Right now, it's looking most likely for strong wind, maybe some hail, and a low possibility for tornadoes later this afternoon again in this marginal or excuse me this enhanced risk area for us then we turn our attention to tomorrow where then we're under the gun for the slight risk area for some severe weather tomorrow here's how forecast track shows it arriving here a little bit later by the seven o'clock hour or so here and it looks like the bulk of it from at least this model run puts it off to our north here's the secondary round for later on this evening and again it really is just going to depend gina how this recovers how the atmosphere recovers during the day about where this second round will fire up and initiate at and who will be affected by it. Real quick, let me let you look at the Security Bank 7-day forecast because I think we're going to get up close to 90 degrees today. 92 or 90 tomorrow. A little bit cooler here as we go through the week and with still some rain chances on Saturday. Over to you. Yeah.